Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we're talking about solids. We will discuss the parts of a solid and then take, some, take a look at some common solids today. First off, um, the definition of a solid. When we're talking about a solid, we're talking about a three-dimensional solid like this. So we've gone from having two-dimensional figures like a, a square and a rectangle to now having um, solids that are in three dimensions. So let's talk first about the parts and then we're going to label a couple of common solids that you might see. First off, when when we're working in two dimensions you often have a, a corner that you call a vertex and that's the same with working with solids. So a vertex is where the points meet except with solids you often have more points meeting at the same place like this where you have three points meeting together in a vertex. So let's go ahead and count the vertices. That, by the way, vertices um, is the plural form of a vertex. So we're going to count the number of vertices in this solid. There's one here, another down here, three, then four, five, six, seven, and eight. Notice that there's three vertices. Sometimes they're called corners, but um, the correct math term for it is a vertice, or in singular form, a vertex. All right. Another part of a solid is an edge. Um, on a two-dimensional uh, polygon, for example, you would have a side. Well, with a three dimensions, you have an edge. And you can see that there's an edge there where, where two... Um, well, I don't want to get too far ahead, so let's just go ahead and count the edges. There's one two, three, four edges on the top of this solid, one, two, three, four edges on the bottom of this solid, and then we can't forget those upright edges there, 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 and there. So we have four on the top, four on the bottom, four around the edge. There are 12 edges in this solid. The final part of a solid is a face. That's that uh, vocab word I just about said when I was saying two, when, where two faces meet, they create an edge. Um, but a face like this is a solid flat surface um, or the flat surface of a solid. So we're going to count the number of faces we have here. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, there are six faces of this solid. Now, if you recognize this maybe and said, hey, I recognize that. It, it, has, it looks like a die when I'm rolling a die. And you know that it has six, six sides or what we call sides when you're rolling a die, but it's six faces. Then you might have already known that. Um, but it's important to be able to identify all the different faces, edges, and vertices of a solid. Let's talk about a couple of common solids. The, the one that we were just looking at, that's called a cube. A cube is a solid where each face is a square. So you have six squares um, that meet together at the edges and they form a three-dimensional cube. Another common solid is a rectangular prism. A rectangular prism is similar to a cube, only four of the faces at least are rectangles. Sometimes all six will be rectangles, but um, at least four of them are rectangles. In this case, the, the face that is closest to us, the top, the back, and the bottom are all rectangles. It appears as though the, the sides are squares, but we would call this a rectangular prism. Some less common um, solids are a triangular prism. Notice that it has a triangle on on these two ends and these edges or faces here that are triangular would be called the bases of this triangular prism even though they're not on the bottom so that's a tri they have triangular bases that means it's a triangular prism and a prism that has a circle on the top and on the bottom or in other words this, the base is a circle is called a cylinder all right, it looks kind of like a tin can. Um, we have our cylinder and our triangular prism.
I want to talk about one more solid, the Egyptian solid known as a pyramid. Um, a pyramid has a base of different form, uh, different uh, polygons. This one here has a square um, as our base and then triangles meeting up at a point. You can also have a triangular pyramid where the base would be a triangle and those points would come up um, to meet here at this vertex um, where you have those faces kind of leaning in to meet at one common vertex up top. So that's a uh, pyramid. Just a quick recap. We talked about the parts of a solid the face, edges, and vertices, and we also showed some pictures of some common solids. I hope that lesson has been helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.